This is Ben Gaines from Adobe Analytics Product Management, and I just wanted to share a quick tip, something that I actually just discovered in the analysis workspace, a neat tip involving visualizations. Uh, here I've just built a simple table showing revenue by day for April. Pretty standard line graph here. Um, what our engineering team has done is, uh, by default, you'll see that uh, the graph is, uh, is set so that the lowest point on the graph um, here uh, so that the axis uh, begins with a with the lowest point. Uh, so you'll notice that we dip a little bit below eighty thousand dollars on April twenty fifth. If we come down here, we see uh, it's about seventy two thousand seven hundred and twenty five. So that's the lowest point on the graph. Now that's great because it allows me to use all of the space in the graph, but it may exaggerate some uh, changes like uh, this graph. If my if I'm sending this to another team member and they don't notice the scale on the left, they might think that um, that revenue dropped to zero on that date. So there's an affordance for this. You can actually click right here below that eighty k and the graph will readjust and it will graph it with zero at the at the low point and your graph uh, moves up and now you can see a much uh, a much more a much flatter um, trend because we're not we're not using all of that space revenue never dips below that point uh, you can click there again to readjust it back so you have uh, you have much more flexibility in this tool than in uh, than in reports and analytics or in ad hoc analysis to graph data uh, the way that makes the most sense depending on what the data is giving you.